Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out the Windows 10 and 11 optional non-security bug fix updates for July of 2023, which they started pushing out um, on the 25th of July, which was once again late yesterday in my region. Now, the updates that now roll out in the fourth week of every month, and what I call the updates that roll out near the end of every month, are optional updates and will appear as such on your Windows update page. And as the name implies, optional updates do not have to be installed. And I always suggest um, only install these optional updates that roll out near the end of every month. If you are experiencing any bugs or issues with your operating system, else just ignore the update. Because if you don't ins install the optional update now, as many of you will know by now, uh, the improvements and fixes will be carried over into the second Tuesday of next month, um, which will roll out as a compulsory security update for the Patch Tuesday updates for August 2023. Now with that all out of the way, if you do decide to install uh, the update and after you've restarted your device, it will appear as a quality update and the update is KB5028244 rolling out now for Windows 10 version 22H2 and this is exactly the same update that I did post on about 10 days or so ago when it was still in the release preview um, inside a program where it was being tested and has now made its way to the stable version. And as I did mention in that previous video, it doesn't include any new features, but does include numerous bug fixes. Now, Microsoft in the release notes have highlighted four um, bug fixes that are quite important to mention. And I did mention these uh, in that previous video, but nonetheless, for the purpose of this stable version update now rolling out, the first important um, key bug fix is that the update addresses an issue that might affect your computer when you are playing a game. So this is a gaming fix. So if you do a lot of gaming on Windows 10, you may be happy to hear this. Apparently, a timeout detection and recovery error and errors were occurring. So that has been addressed now um, when playing a game. Moving on to the next uh, key update and bug fix, the update addresses an issue that affects certain display and audio devices. They were missing after um, systems were resuming from sleep. And the third important bug fix is the update addresses an issue that might affect some VPN clients. They might not establish a connection. And then the fourth highlight, according to Microsoft, is the update addresses an issue that affects the search app. Apparently, it was opening in full screen uh, and it was blocking additional start menu actions and you couldn't close it. So that has been addressed now. And that's one of those small niggly issues, which I think um, if you were affected could have been a big issue at the end of the day and now has finally been addressed. And um, that search app now, that bug has been fixed with this latest update. Now, as mentioned, this is a non-security update that does include other quality improvements. And if you do want to stick around, just to go through this quickly, as I did mention these um, about 10 days or so ago when it was still in preview, the update addresses an issue that affects the Windows notification platform. Apparently, it was failing to send notifications from applications to you. And the update addresses an issue that might affect Win32 and Universal Windows Platform. Those are UWP apps. Apparently, they were closing when devices were entering modern standby. It also affects two uh, printer issues. Um, the first is for printer drivers. Um, they unload unexpectedly and this was occurring when you print from multiple print queues on the same print driver and the second printing issue that's been addressed uh, is regarding a printing job where an unexpected internet printing protocol rpp mode switch um, was causing the print job to abruptly stop so that's the, um, the second of two printing issues that have been addressed and then the last one just to mention there are a couple of others but I just picked a couple of these out which I thought you may be interested in the update addresses an issue that causes windows to fail so that's quite an important update and um, bug fix update this was occurring when you use BitLocker on a storage medium that has a large sector size so that's quite an important bug fix um, any fix that does address an issue where windows is failing I would consider to be an important um, issue that's been addressed. And then, once again, the service in stack has received an update, and the service in stack is the component that installs Windows updates. Now, after you have installed this update, if we just head over to Winver, which will give us um, the About Windows uh, menu, after the update has been applied for Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build 
has now been bumped up to 19045.3271. So that's the latest optional bug fix update now rolling out for Windows 10 for July 2023. That, as mentioned, does contain no new uh, features, but does include numerous uh, bug fixes. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.